had something to say, but I lost it. I was going to say something, but my brain became a mosh pit. It's weird how things work. The littlest things make people go berserk. Well, whatever it is, it will come back to me. Oh yeah, it's the Bar for Bar Weekly. It's the Bar for Bar Weekly for the week of February 12th, 2021. This week was incredibly light in terms of news, so we're just going to run through everything. First things first, I mean, if, if you're in the U.S. or care about sports or entertainment in any sort of way, you probably know that The weekend had his Super Bowl halftime show. A lot of people have mixed feelings on it. I, for one, really enjoyed it, but I'm just also a big fan of The weekend. I mean, you can you can choose to like whatever you like. It's There's no right way to feel about how you enjoy music or performances, you know, so. It was fun for me. Up next, apparently Post Malone got tapped in by the Pokemon company. Yeah, that's weird, right? What's even weirder is that the reason that they tapped in with him is because they wanted him to hold this virtual concert for the 25th anniversary of Pokemon. Uh, This event is going to take place on the internet, obviously, and it's going to be on February 27th. It's an interesting choice, for sure, but fine. (laughs) Yeah, you do you, bro. And finally, it's that time of year again where there's these new nominees for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And this year, and in years past, there have been a decent amount of hip-hop-related artists that were nominated. This year, we've actually got Jay-Z, LL Cool J, and Mary J. Blige as nominees. Literally any of these people would be a great addition, but, I mean, it's not up to me to decide, obviously. Either way, it's it's just a great look for hip-hop. Like, I'm glad that they've been more inclusive in terms of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees, so that's dope. And that just brings us to music releases for this week, um, of which there there's a lot of good music. Not necessarily a lot of music that's like out there, like a lot of not a whole lot of albums that I would say go check out, but there's a lot of good music on those albums, if that makes sense. So first, Judas and the Black Messiah, the soundtrack slash album inspired by the movie. That's dope as hell. I haven't checked out the movie yet, but I plan on doing so very soon. So check the album out. It's definitely a good listen. And it has like one of Jay-Z's best verses in recent memory. But also, Jay-Z just don't miss. Slow Tide dropped Tyron. Marlon Craft dropped How We Intended. That dropped earlier in the week, so I've gotten more time to listen to it. And it's solid as hell, too. Like, ye- People who are huge fans of the Boom Bap sound, definitely check that out. Uh, we also got rapper Big Poo from Lil Brother. He dropped his album 41. Also, happy birthday to rapper Big Poo. And JPEG Mafia dropped EP2. That's that's pretty much all I got for releases in terms of what I would be looking for. Let me know in the comments below what you're listening to and if there's other music or news that I should have mentioned or should check out. Also, remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thank you for watching and please stay safe out there.